In Onshape, there are many ways to organize your documents to make them easier to find and manage. On the left hand side of the documents page, you'll find the document filters. Filters are used to list documents based on sharing and ownership permissions. You can filter by documents that were shared by you, documents that have been shared with you, documents that belong to your company, and documents that have been shared with your team. Filters will be discussed in detail in a future video. You may, however, want to organize or categorize your documents even further, and maybe group documents together that belong in different filters. This can be done using labels. To create a new label, click on the Labels icon located on the top right of the Documents page. Select Create New Label and type in the label name. To add a label to a document, select the document, right click, and select Labels or press the Labels button in the top right corner. In the Labels dialog, select the checkbox next to the label name to assign a label to the document. You can leave the Labels dialog open and select more documents from the list to assign labels to them. If you have a lot of labels, you can use the search field in the dialog and enter one or more characters from the name to filter the list below. You can also use this field to create a new label and assign it to the selected documents. To close the Labels dialog, press the X in the top right corner. Another way to assign a label to a document is to drag and drop the document onto the label name. You can also multi-select many documents and either right-click to open the Labels dialog or drag and drop them all in one go. Documents that have been assigned a label display the label name below the document name. To list the documents that have been assigned a particular label, either click the label name under the document name or click the label in the list down the left. If you right-click a label on the left, you can rename it or delete it. This deletes the label, but not the documents that it has been assigned to. Documents can have many labels as you like, so you can categorize documents based on product type, customer, or even workflow state to help you find related documents or documents that need to be worked on.